How would you describe him? Fiscal conservative? Uh, yes, fiscally conservative. Uh, as I said, he was the budget chief. Uh, you know, he pushed back on uh, da David Miller when David had some uh, spend issues that David didn't think was very practical, practical or very um, suitable for long-range goals of the city. And uh, I think David will continue uh, with that skill set as mayor. Is there a risk here that we're going to have a whole bunch of candidates who are trying to out Rob Ford, Rob Ford on the fiscal front? They're all going to sound the same, talking about saving money. Well, I've uh, I've watched uh, the mayor over the last four years, uh, a number of areas where he said he saved money. Um, he certainly hasn't. Uh, I watched him on the, the subway transit file, for example. Um, he's going to spend close to $3 billion of taxpayer money, uh, which works at uh, $1,200 a year, I understand. Um, you know, David can listen to people. He's very uh, fiscally conservative, as I said, but I don't think he's going to try and out fiscally conservative the mayor. Have you been promised uh, a position on the Transit Committee? Nope. No, I haven't asked for anything. Uh, I'm not looking for anything other than to make sure he's our, our next mayor. And uh, what's the status of the <laughs> uh, Still waiting for the ma The last I saw, the Integrity Commissioner made three different uh, requests to the mayor in writing. Uh, he hasn't responded to any of them. Uh, my understanding, if he doesn't respond to my request, she's going to move forward with her investigation without any feedback from him or his office. Thank you. Thank you, Thank everybody. You. Have a good day. Paul. Happy New Year. One more question. So, so he's talking about lobbyists and transparency. Are lobbyists having a huge impact on decisions in the city of Toronto, council, such as transit? Um, you know, we have a lobby registry. I don't know. I can account for everybody that comes in and out of the mayor's office. So, you know, we're supposed to be upfront and transparent. Uh, I, I am. I know that David will. David has always been upfront and transparent when he was a city councillor. And I expect he'll continue to bring those attributes to the mayor's office when he's mayor. And he's doing that in his campaign. Uh, you know, it's not nothing he's devi deviated from, and I don't expect him to do so in the future. Our lobbyists. Our lobbies a problem in mayor in city hall. Um, I wouldn't call them a problem um, as long as they follow the rules and we follow the rules. You get into the issue. The problems start when lobbyists don't follow the registry when they meet with people outside of city hall and, the, and it's not registered. Um, that's where the problems start. To what extent do you think this election is going to be a referendum on Rob Ford and, and the scandals that, that he's, he's had over the last year? I think that's part of it. I think part of it is going to be moving the city forward. Uh, I certainly don't think that Rob Ford is the person that uh, has the vision, um, can bring the leadership, and certainly doesn't have the moral authority uh, to be mayor of our city for the next four years. I think David has a lot of attributes that he can bring to the table, um, and policy, he listens to people. Um, I think he'd be an excellent mayor. That's why I'm here today. Thanks, Paul. Okay. Thanks, everybody.